Your top stunt team dedicated to both performance tonight to our Ribbon Area Military Family. Tonight we have the family of alumni, Ben Benton, who is currently serving in Korea. I'd like to thank all of those serving and their families for their support for their loved ones. At this time, we would also like to welcome home PFC Ben Benton. First off, I guess from the mother, um, talk about what you what you were thinking when they were saying appreciating the military and the, those who served and as he was walking towards you. Actually, I was saying, who's the tiger? They don't have a tiger on this team. Who's the tiger? And then when they said they said that they were doing the the um, what do they call it appreciation. appreciation for the military. And welcome home. As soon as they said welcome home, I started looking. And then, and then I saw when I saw the tiger start to move. I'm like, the tiger's back! <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I, I guess uh, during the routine, I could tell that you were going crazy about Peter's performance and his little his little role. I guess. Um, Peter, talk about your reaction. Well, um, like I said, for uh, the, the camera before prior, uh, I, I kind of already knew, so I wasn't as excited as if it would have been more of a surprise. But um, I was it's, all in all, it's a great thing, and I was happy, very happy, and excited. How does it feel to be home, Ben? It feels incredible. It doesn't feel real yet, though. It hasn't feel real. Like, not even on the plane. I figured once I got on the plane and I'm seeing the States finally, no, it never hits you. I feel like I'm going to waste a lot of leave, the time that I earned away from the Army, thinking that when it's getting real, but really it's real now. I don't know. It's just... Um, obviously, when you go to the Army, you know you leave your fam you're going to be leaving your family. Talk about that at that time and now obviously being home and seeing your family again. When I first left for the Army, that would be... Let's take it back to basic training. I took a lot of things for granted, and I'm just going to be truthful with it. I didn't really care, because I never really felt that way about that. But then it, all my training and all my experience in the Army so far has taught me that one of the most important things is family. And to be away from them is like losing a piece of yourself, a bigger piece of yourself, and I hate it. So being home is like a dream come true to me. Um, how long are you going to be home? 21 days. 21 days, I guess. Um, any plans? I know you just, it was just sprung on you that your son's back home. Any plans now in the next 21 days? Well, I'm going to cook him a lot of food, cook his favorite foods, because that's the fun <laughs> thing. And we're going to go skiing, right? We're going to try to do a family ski trip, because we always like to do family ski trips. And we'll probably play a lot of games and just spend a lot of time together. Um, what's going to be next for you, Ben, once you do go back to the um, service? Uh, yeah, serving. Uh, my next step, sir, is that I'm going to Fort Campbell in Kentucky, Tennessee, Kentucky. And either this year or early next year, I will be deploying to Afghanistan. Um. <laughs> um. I guess one more question. How, how will you approach with the idea to be the Tiger? How did all this come up? I'm going to give all the credit to my Aunt Tessie. She set everything up and Without her, none of this would have been happening. The news wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be here. So, with, it was her, it was my ancestor. Uh, did you just get back? Uh, today. You got back today, so. Um, a lot of planes, a lot of planes. Thank you for your service. Enjoy the time together.